Well, Nat, before Matt became the biggest star in the history of morning TV, he was a struggling reporter just trying to make it. Good morning, everyone. I'm Matt Lauer. And good morning. I'm Jane Hansen. You know, I was the first person that he worked with when he came to NBC. Yes. And when he came, he had been at a number of different programs, none of which had been successful. He was thinking about becoming a tree trimmer. Right. But he was going to give up broadcasting. Are Big Macs your favorite? Or Matt's first co-host at local NBC was Jane Hansen, who spoke to CNN about what it was like co-hosting with Matt on Today in New York in the early 90s. All right, don't get excited. Joe says this is a fluke this <laughs> yes. day, okay? Don't worry about it. When he came to that program, he was humble and grateful. And what I saw was a lot of change over the years. Mm -hmm. But back then, there were no signs of any of this. This is Today with Katie Couric and Matt Lauer and Matt Lauer. <laughs> Matt became the news reader and eventually joined Katie and Al at the Today Show Anchor Desk in 1997. The crew had instant chemistry and the ratings continued to soar, as did the revenue. Ironically, Charlie Rose, who was recently fired from CBS following accusations of sexual harassment, asked Matt and Katie in 2002 what made their chemistry work. We're kind of like just more than working buddies. We're friends, but we aren't, I don't think we feel the need to be around each other all the time. And maybe it's better. I've always been, too, a little reticent about becoming so chummy chummy with, with my, particularly with the co-anchor, because I think that there's a, an inherent risk to that, because you can, then a lot of other stuff yeah, right, right. can yeah. get in the way. Meredith eventually replaced Katie, and the show continued to dominate the competition. That all changed in 2011 when Meredith left, replaced by Ann Curry. In 2012, Today lost the number one slot they'd held for 16 years to GMA. NBC had to do something. They re-upped Lauer's contract twice and replaced Ann Curry with Savannah Guthrie, and the ratings returned. GMA still leads in total viewers, but today is number one where it counts women 25 to 54. I'm right here, Jack. A big question facing NBC is how much of Matt's $25 million a year salary, if any, will they be on the hook for? Employment law attorney Gene Christensen says this. Engaging in any type of sexual harassment or assault is unlawful. So it's hardly likely that a company is going to agree to pay someone if they've engaged in behavior that's considered unlawful.